Hi guys, Joe here for Independent Guides. I was working on a completely different video, one of the most exciting news in theme parks, probably for 2021 and in just a really long time, just came out. So I wanted to put this video together. It's really quick, really short, but it is a big update. So remember to like and subscribe to help support the channel. So Universal Studios Japan has just announced that the new Super Nintendo World area will be opening on the 4th of February 2021. Previously we'd heard Spring 2021, so that means that they've pushed it forward quite a bit earlier than we first thought. And that means that we're only 65 days away from seeing this land open up, so just over two months. As well as the opening date, we also have a much better look at the main Super Mario Kart ride that's coming to the land. This is something that we didn't know too much about, so we've got a really good look at the inside of the ride now. So Nintendo released a few new images and videos, and also Kamuri Mori, a reporter for Bloomberg, gave us a few more details about the ride's interior, so stick all the way through to the end as there's lots to see throughout the video. First of all, we have this overview image of the land. So honestly, I wasn't sure if I was being an idiot or if I just couldn't tell, but I wasn't sure if this was a photo or CGI, but it looks like it's actually a photo and there's actually some video of the land here, which is just incredible. So we can see the Yoshi ride up here. We can see that the land is indeed, of course, on two levels as we knew. And then we can see Bowser's Castle, which houses the Super Mario ride. So looking at the all important Mario Kart ride itself, in a video I released a few weeks ago, I showed an image of the ride vehicle which had been leaked and it turns out we were right. This is indeed the very same ride vehicle. So now we actually have a much better look at the loading area of the ride as well as the ride vehicles and the queue. This Super Mario Kart ride is actually officially called Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge. Koopa is a name for Bowser in Japanese. So we'll start off by going into Bowser's Castle. This looks incredible. This is the start of the queue line and the first thing you'll see when you walk in is this amazing staircase. At the top of it, of course, is a statue of Bowser. Later on in the queue, we'll also get to see the Mario Kart trophies and this is just really cool to see these in 3D in real life. And then, of course, at the end, you reach the load area of the ride. The load area looks incredible. They've got these beautiful stone walls. It's got this dungeon-like vibe. There's these cogs everywhere, bit of a steampunk style going on. And of course, we have the green warp pipes coming off the ceiling. Looking at the ride vehicles, these are four seater vehicles themed to the Mario Kart go-karts. We also now know for certain this is not a trackless system. The ride will be on a fixed route and run on some kind of rail. We also know that there are two loading stations and this is going to operate very similarly to Men in Black Alien Attack at Universal Lando. So the operators will dispatch two ride vehicles at the same time and then these are going to run parallel to each other throughout the ride as you go through the scenes. And as you're going through the scenes, you're not just going to be looking and seeing what's happening around you. You'll be trying to score points. You're going to be competing against the other people in your car. You're also going to be competing against the other car, which is running parallel to you. And then you're going to be able to mess with the other car. So you could, for example, throw a shell, throw a banana at it. And you might even be able to cause that car to spin, for example. We don't know yet, but very possibly. Every seat and every rider has a steering wheel in front of them in the restraint and you can see in the middle there's a glowing red M button. You turning the steering wheel isn't going to do anything, but when you press this M button, that's what will probably score you the points and that's what will affect what happens to the other car as well. For you to see what's happening around you and to make this even more immersive, it is now confirmed that there will be augmented reality headsets, which you'll wear, and these are goggles, and then they have a cute little Mario hat on top. So when you're looking through these, this is where you'll see all those different effects I was talking about. When you throw a shell at another car, for example, you won't just hear a sound effect, you'll actually see that shell go through to the other car through your headset. According to Bloomberg's Mori, Universal has said that each ride will be a unique experience and visitors aren't guaranteed to win. So this reminds me also a little bit of Radiator Springs races over at Disney where one car wins and one car does not. We also have confirmation of some of the different levels that you'll be going through. So these include a lava level, an underwater level, a spooky area, rainbow road, and more. And we also have confirmation that the ride, as well as the AR, will be using projection mapping as well. And I'd also expect to see some straight up screens as well around you at some point. So Nintendo and Universal have apparently been working on this ride for six years now. So to put that into a bit of perspective, that was when Diagon Alley opened in Orlando. It was before Shanghai Disneyland opened. It was three years before Pandora World of Avatar opened in Florida. 
So this is really probably Universal's longest project in maybe its entire history. And hopefully that's just a testament to how amazing this ride is going to be. And we also know that the land is coming in at 580 million US dollars in price. Considering it's actually a very small area of land, this could be one of the most expensive theme park lands per square foot ever. I for one cannot wait for this ride to open then for Japan to open back up, and then so I can finally go and ride this and see this and experience this for myself in person. If you're in the US, you should be super excited as well, as Universal Studios Hollywood is well on its way to building Super Nintendo World there as well. If you want to see more progress of that and some other rides that Universal is building right now, then check out the other video I have in the description as well. If you want more details on the land overall, for example, the Yoshi ride, there's a Donkey Kong expansion happening as well, and just other details on the land, then check out my other video, which is linked in the description. If you're planning a trip to Universal Studios Japan, check out my guidebook in the description as well. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe to help the channel, as well as Super Nintendo World updates. Every week I publish Disney, Universal and theme park videos, so do subscribe to get those and hit the notification bell if you want to be the first one to know when I have a new video out. Thanks so much for watching, I've been Geo for Independent Guides and I'll see you in the next video.